you know, my curiosity, at least right now is on, 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 you know, healing medicine and things like that. And I've been really getting into the space of psilocybin and um, figuring out like what it actually does and how it works, because there's just a lot of great information. And, you know, I came across a documentary, which I know you saw too, on Netflix, mm-hmm. which was, um, you know, how to heal the mind. And it's- How to it, change your mind. How to change your mind. Thank you. Sorry. I'm just looking at- um, So good. Um, like there was like a, you know, I think it was an episode two where they talk about this, um, um, about Maria Sabina's story and how like she was doing this in the Amazon in Mexico somewhere. Uh, and she was, she was, you know, she was someone who brought the, these ceremonial, um, uh, mushrooms to the table where it was, you know, she really honored and respected the mushroom and she really understood and she really brought it to North America and people were like flying all over and like, you know, you know, you can check out our story, but I really want to get into the space of like, of what these mushrooms really have like in her awareness, you know, uh, now that she's passed away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to like stop and and expand that space a little bit. Mm -hmm. This message just came through. I think it was yesterday. I've been practicing a lot of deep listening the last few days. I think it was yesterday or the day before. And spirit was saying, um, the truest form of medicine and the ultimate form of, of medicine is self-love. Because without self-love, you wouldn't give yourself the rite of passage to try psilocybin or peyote, you know, um, yeah you know, you, people say, oh, you know, swimming in the ocean is medicine or going hiking in the woods is medicine, but you wouldn't even give yourself the right of passage to do that if you didn't love yourself first. So it was really awesome to think about and to look at that and what we, what we do do to cultivate that sense of like feel good inside ourselves. And it starts with that self-love, like the, the truest, most everlasting form of medicine is self-love because everything happens in that space. In that and space. I thought that was like, oh, that's such a great message. That's deep. Yeah. I mean, if you could start anything with that, then, you know, you're good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so. I mean, self-love is what causes change. It's what causes assertiveness, intention, you know, it's, it's, um, man, it's what causes nourishing and uh, nourishment. Um, I thought that was really interesting. Something we should like really dive deep in. Okay. Self-love. Mm-hmm. Self-love as the ultimate form of medicine. Cause I too, have been on that quest of like medicinal, like, like everything from, you know, peyote to psilocybin and cambo and ayahuasca and aromatherapies and just different forms of natural medicine. Um, so I was asking spirit, like what, what returning to our nature is the most medicinal thing we could do. So how do we do that? Some people seek, you know, these beautiful plant medicines and spirit said, well, you have to have self-love first. And yeah, even if sure. you don't recognize it, like well, as people could go to these retreats and things where they do plant medicine, but it's not a self-love for self, like just taking care of the self. Like that is yeah. doing these things, like taking care of your body. That is love. Yep. Even when it's not recognized, even when it's not felt, even if you're feeling destroyed and you're like, oh, I'm going to go do this ceremony and maybe I'll feel better. Yeah. Even it's hidden in the subconscious that. Yeah. People taking care of themselves and like really connecting with nature and these plant medicines and these things. It's all part of like, you you know, we channeled a long time ago. It's like, you know, eventually where we're all going is back to nature, you know, essentially yes, like, return, to that return to nature. So like, and you said that a long years ago, like I remember because, um, uh, you know, the, everyone thinks like the future is technology, which is cool. Embrace it. If we can figure out how to hybrid those things. Yeah, there's a space for it for sure. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens and see what let's see what happens because everything that goes up must go down. So it's like so to speak uh so let's see what the breadth of all this is because technology is also good but it's also in place for other reasons so i'm not sure i'm not sure i'm not sure you know i think i think we are the technology you know i Mm -hmm. think we are the technology our this body this the way we can is the most incredible experience but we uh, you know the humans always uh at least this experience so we, we always try to 
create things because we like to see things and it's like we're toys like we're playing like this is a playful this is a playground you know let's yeah. just get that out there this is a playground it should be fun we should be exactly. met we're manifestors we're here to create we're here to embrace we're here to love yeah. we're here to love we're why to not play. No we're here to laugh don't take anything too heavily don't take anything too seriously just flow through the experience of it all yeah so you know, this is where we're at. We're in this dimension right now that we're present to all kinds of amazing tech. We can connect. You can see us, you and I talking. I mean, I, I just gratitude for that. You know, we're going to communicate yeah. on a mass level. That is the, the power of technology. Because as a creator myself, as a video producer and all these things, like I have to embrace that as well because it allows us to really communicate on a different level uh, physically now collectively we're all connected like if, if we can bring that awareness that like no matter what there's no separation we're all mm -hmm. one we're all this um it's you know that's that's eventually where all this is headed you know where we could see ours as a one grid system my curiosity with maria sabina like i think maybe she would be great to really uh i don't think anyone's really channeled uh, or talked about the consciousness of the mushroom and why it's so sacred and like you know she would she would be on this whole like you know her, her thing is like her healing sacred mushroom ceremonies called veladas veladas i guess were based in use of psilocybin mushrooms particularly uh a sacred mushroom um that she would perform in in this in the middle of her town i guess uh, you know so so it, it's kind of like if Erica would like bring her in and she can come forward and like kind of like just like lay five, 10 minutes of information of like the psilocybin, yeah. the mushroom, because she was that embodiment, you know, she was that awareness at that time. So I think she has, she yeah. was an expert in that, um, you know, and while she died destitute, she didn't have a name, just like she really brought awareness to the masses about what this uh, plant uh, or mushroom, sorry, um, um you know does for for consciousness like on a human level it's so cool Plus. because every time you talk about like what she like so eric's already bringing her forward um and it's really cool i see this like like iridescent bluish light um and what it does to the body or why or how like when you talk about the mushroom um and and what she knew and what it does and that sort of thing so it, so what it does, uh, and then I'll, you know, we'll talk to her in a second, but like, I just have to share in order of how I receive the information. So there's like a full um, activation of the nervous system um, in the body and the um, uh, uh, meridians, like the, the channels that energy flows through in the body. So, so not just full activation, but in a way where there's no gaps, like there's no loopholes or no gaps. So like uh, the mushroom fosters like full complete connectivity. And so if we were, this is Eric talking, if we were walking around in that all the time, we would be fully or even more aware of our creative nature. Um, when we're fully aware of our creative nature, there's no need to compete, he says. He's just kind of making a remark. Um, so when I kind of shift over to her, it's like she, she, well, this is cool. She's explaining the mushroom as like uh, music, um, sound, like sound, but music, um, and knowing in a very deep way, the way sound organizes itself she's saying um she's so cool she's very um her energy is very like super super humble like super quiet she's very few words but effective when she shares um and she's showing having an awareness of how the frequency of the mushroom is the same frequency um as the nervous system and so she shows like all of these channels being just completely lit up like that bluish, like iridescent color um, through the use of psilocybin. And, and if that is so, this is what she's showing and, and saying, if and when that is so, our mind isn't so here and now in the finite sense, 
um, we sort of step away from the attachments of our mind and our thoughts. And so then we see beyond what our mind tells us to see. Um, I feel like I need, she wants me to say that again. Like we see beyond what our mind tells us to see or tells us what we're capable of seeing. Interesting. Um, because again, she's showing like, if you have gaps in your nervous system, you have shortages, you have pain, you have a stop mechanism that interferes with the flow of awareness. And so um, when psilocybin enters the system, she's showing those holes sort of, or those gaps being immediately closed um, and, and like paving a path beyond like the reality of the mind. Um, and that's where she's showing, like, if you could imagine an outline of a human body and then, you know, all these lines going through it that represent the nervous system, that's like this lit up as like this blue iridescent color. And they go, they shoot out from the palms, from the mind, from the feet, from the hip area, the hips, um, and just like these tentacles that just soar through the cosmos, um, you're accessing like the true nature of yourself, mm, that's um, great. which is far beyond the way you perceive yourself as a person and a personality. It, you perceive yourself as the, as the universe that you are. It's amazing. Now, when people start like microdosing and doing like small amounts, what are the benefits to that? First thing she's showing is healing and repair. So you begin to close those leaks and this could be, she's so sweet when she talks, um, her, her, her words, the way she talks, she's very nourishing, like, uh, or sorry, nurturing. Um, so <laughs> Eric says, she feels like a bowl of chicken noodle soup in a blanket. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Who doesn't love that when it's cold out, like our fall yeah. weather, like that cozy comforting feel. Um, so she's saying um, repair starts first. This could be repair of a memory. She says that you didn't even know was harming you. That memories, you know, pain, um, whether it's a, a memory of an injury, like a physical injury, an emotional memory. She says these pain bodies create a leakage, not just in your physical system, but in your universe, in your um how would I put like your, your, the concentration of your energy. And I don't mean focal point as in concentration, but I mean, concentration as in the quality, the potency of your circulation, your system, your, your light, your energy. Um, she's calling it a circulation, like you're a field of energy that's always circulating. So that can begin to leak, um, She's showing me, so just imagine this for a moment so you can just go along with the visual. Imagine like a channel of energy spinning really fast and circulating and it keeps itself contained. So it's, it's because it keeps itself contained, it spins faster and faster and higher and higher and it's more potent, more effective. But if it doesn't keep itself contained, it starts to lose pieces and sh you know shrouds of itself start to fly off here and there. And that's what happens when we collect memories or we put ourself, we create the idea that our self is that pain or that memory versus the true self. She says, think about it like this. It's the same effect when you see an ice skater, arms wide out and they're spinning in circles versus when they pull in, they spin really fast. Like that vortex of energy is like, whoosh. and she's showing that when you keep things contained in essence, in truth, um, and healthy and whole, then your, your vortex or your, your spinning is faster, um, oh, much more like high, yeah. high velocity. Yeah. So, um, that's what psilocybin begins to do. And, and just even in like one dose, that's why you can then have experiences outside of yourself because that's already your nature but we lose that awareness because 
we're not so contained. And we don't want to think about it as like self-contained um, because that can, that can sort of slip into serving a self, like a person, a personality, who we think we are. But That's she said, do. think of it more as um, quite the opposite in the unfolding, like serving um, or rather functioning from a place of essence which doesn't get diluted or shredded because of the self we're serving the self no that, that, that that's yeah. great that's that's amazing i think you know uh we're gonna dive deeper uh to the fungi world mm -hmm. and, and the consciousness of that because i think that's our next video should be is like is oh, is okay. to, to go off of this is like really channel because there's so many species of of fungi and the healing benefits of it as you know like you're doing chaga what are you doing chaga the, the, the mud water it's called mud water and it's like seven different mushrooms yeah um, so so yeah oh no no i was thinking of something else yeah a quarter, yeah cordyceps it has i mean all kinds of stuff in it so yeah 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 so there's like a lot of healing benefits to that i'm just really you know wrapping my head around it as well as uh and, and starting my journey to uh, you know discovering that i've had a lot of good you know um benefits from it so far but there's a lot of people you know from all different types of ages like taking this as medicinal and really just like you know releasing and healing in, in all areas of yeah. life. so definitely recommend it but uh, i know you must go but we'll continue this journey uh, and this uh, thought process, I thank you, you know, thank you, Maria, thank you, Eric, uh, closing out this session, and we'll continue this information, yeah, we'll continue this information uh, process and, and, and continue to uh, serve everyone, so if anyone has any great questions and things like that, continue to like, you know, let us know what you want to hear about, or what you're interested in, or form a community, let us know what your, what your Absolutely. thoughts are, and things like that, and it's just, you know, it's all love. It's all out of, you know, uh, information and, and consciousness and expanding the awareness. So yes, absolutely. Beautifully Thank you, said. Kim. Oh, Thank you. Kim. Thank you. Appreciate you.